Now let's take a look at the sidebar in the Finder window. Let's go to my Mac. I'm going to go down to my Finder here and open up a new Finder window. So we know that the toolbar is located at the top. Well, if we look at the left side of our window, you're going to see we have a sidebar here. And our sidebar comprises of our favorites. We also have connected devices. And then I also have shared devices. And if I scroll up, we have our tags. If I'm not using tags and I want to hide them, all I have to do is go over to the right and I click on hide and now it hides my tags. To show them again, we go down to our tags here, go over to the right and click on show. So this is our sidebar. We can customize the sidebar. If we look up at the top here where our favorites are, I want to add my Tutor for El Capitan folder. All I have to do is take my folder here, I'm looking at my Tutor for El Capitan folder that is in my Documents folder. All I have to do is drag this over to the left and I position it where I want. I'm going to put it towards the top here. I let go and there's my folder. Let's go and make the sidebar a little bit wider. All we have to do is just go over to the right, see the icon changes, and I drag this over to the right. So now let's go to my documents and let's go over to my Tutor for El Capitan. All I have to do is just click on Tutor for El Capitan. And now I'm looking at that folder. So we can customize what is in that folder. Now if we wanted to remove it or rename it, all we do is control click on it. I'm going to hold down the control key and click. And you're going to see we have rename and remove. So let's go ahead and remove this. When I remove this, it does not delete the folder. All it does is remove it from the sidebar. So I'm going to select this. Now when we go to Documents here, you can still see we have our folder. It did not delete the folder. All it did was remove it from the sidebar. I'm going to add it back in. Drag it over to the left here and let go. Let's take a quick look at our devices here. I have a few hard drives connected to my computer. If I wanted to eject one of them, I have my drobo here. I want to eject it. You're going to see that we have the eject symbol. When I click on this, it'll eject that hard drive. If I had a DVD or a CD in my computer, I select this and I can see the files and folders on that disk. I'd also have an eject symbol on the right if I wanted to eject it. So that's how we can see our connected devices. I have multiple computers here in my office. I want to connect to Beth's MacBook Pro, my wife. All I have to do is just select it. And over on the right, we have two options here. Share screen and connect as. If I wanted to share her screen, I click on share screen, enter in the username and password for her computer. If I just wanted to connect to it without sharing the screen, I click on connect as. And again, I just enter in the username and password of her computer and I can connect up to her computer. And again, we also have tags. I want to view all the files that I tagged as red. I click on red and it'll show me all the files that are tagged as red. We'll talk about tags later on in the tutorial. So that is our sidebar. Now we do have other options for this sidebar and it's in our Finder Preferences. So let's go back up to our Finder here in the menu bar and then I select Preferences. From here what we need to do is go to our sidebar category. Select it and now you can see we have a number of items that we can choose to hide and show in our sidebar. If I'm using iCloud Drive, I click on iCloud Drive here, and now we have iCloud Drive. I want to add my home folder to the sidebar. I click on El Capitan here, and now we have my home folder. I want to move this up towards the top. All I do is just click and hold, and I drag it up to the top. Let's go back over to our preferences here. With our shared category here, we can choose to hide back to my Mac, connected servers, and Bonjour computers. We also have devices. I want to show my MacBook Pro. All I have to do is just select this, and it's going to show my MacBook Pro in the sidebar. And then I can also choose to hide my tags. When you are finished, all you have to do is just close the window, and then any changes that you made will show up in the sidebar. So that's how we use the sidebar in a Finder window. We have our favorites where we can place our favorite folders. 
We also have devices which are connected devices such as hard drives or disk drives. Our shared category shows all of our shared computers on the network and then we have our tags. So that's our sidebar in macOS.